Hello everyone, Garrett Love here from CM Tuts as well as GarrettLove.com. And in this Photoshop lesson or tutorial, we are going to be making all three of these images actually. These two images up here actually came from this image down here. It's just a simple setting adjustment. So first off, we're going to start off by making this image and then we're going to go in to make these two images with a jitter over here and a glow kind of up there. So we're going to start off by making this one first and we're going to make a new document. Uh, the width set to 500 and the height set to 200 or you can just use those dimensions and you can rescale that if you'd like later. I'm going to drag that down here. Make the canvas size just a little bit bigger. That's that's good. Um, right, so leave the background layer uh, like so and just make a new layer. It's going to come up by default layer 1. You can title this uh, gradient if you'd like, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm not going to get into naming layers because that does take extra time. So um, go to your gradient tool in the toolbar. Um, I am using Photoshop CS3. Um, I I'm sure this will work with Photoshop CS4 and I would assume Photoshop CS2 I don't know about any previous versions alright uh, the way that I made this gradient is I made a new gradient and I just added some more uh, I just added I think a little bit more three I have five color stops and I just went from a light gray to a little darker gray to another light gray to a deeper much deeper gray and then to a light gray make sure Everything has an opacity of 100, though. <clears throat> um, if the opacity is any lower, it won't come out as nice. So, start at the top and drag down and make sure that we got that line nice and straight. And there we go. So that looks looks pretty good. Um, if you're not going to, you know, try not to rush through this because this can add a really, really cool effect to really a website or a blog or whatever you're doing, maybe working on a special project. So definitely take some time with your gradient. The more time you put into your gradient, the better it will look. Um, now grab your text tool and we're going to start off by, I'm going to write CM Tuts. By the way, the font that I'm using is Impact called impact and I believe it comes with the computer I don't know about a PC but I know it is by default on Mac so I would assume that it is on PCs if not you may be able to find it at the font.com and some other uh, font websites on the internet alright so let's get our text tool again we're just gonna make this a dark gray nice deep Gray, maybe a little bit darker than that, even. Uh, that's good, right about there. All right. Uh, now, come over to Effects down here at the bottom of the Layers panel, and go to Inner Shadow. Once you're Inner Shadow, make sure the angle is at 120. The opacity should be at about 75. And we're going to keep that blend mode on multiply. Because if it's on normal, it won't come out the way we want it to. So just keep that blend mode on multiply. The size that I'm using is 5. The choke is, and I, other than that, just keep it at you know default settings. So distance 5, size 5, and so on. Just click OK. Next, we're going to go down to effects again. We're going to get to outer glow um, choose this the gradient and make that gradient just one of the default which is black to white so now that we have that we want the size to be 1 and that is pretty much it um, really really simple to do and it does create a pretty good effect so definitely use this in any projects that you're doing or a website design or anything like that. You could get a pretty nice style for web design and, and many other things. Alright, but now, now that we have this, which is what we, we talked about before, we want to get to this and this up here. So we're going to go, actually we're just going to click on this one again. We're going to add a gradient overlay. And this is optional. I mean, it's just going to add a little touch of detail. Um, really, it's not going to do anything too drastic. 
Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like without any gradient overlay. And we can actually just go to about 10. Um, you don't have to do that. It just adds a little a little bit more detail to our, our project. And detail is always good. If you pay attention to the detail things, your projects will look better. So go back to Outer Glow by double-clicking on that in the Layers panel. And first, we can set the size to, let's see, in this one, we used a size of, let's see, 29 pixels. So in this, we can do the same. We will use, not 40, 29 pixels, and that's pretty much the same effect right there. Really, I mean, you can kind of mess around with these sliders. That's a pretty cool effect right there. But what I did, now that we have basically that, what I did to get to that was I just added a jitter and I went up to about a hundred percent on the jitter and uh, that's just leave that range at 50 and I just went up to about a hundred percent on the jitter and that's basically how I got to this effect and that effect it's just adjusting the size of the outer glow as well as the jitter amount so uh, you can mess around with these settings and it'll come out differently obviously with different settings but that's how to make all three of those cool text styles um, my name is Garrett Love uh, this was a tutorial from CM Tuts as well as GarrettLove.com and as always thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye